all right guys so in our previous videos we saw how to add our models to django admin we saw what django admin is how to log in how to create a user how to create a regular user you can actually create a regular user using django admin so what i'll do now is fire this python manage.py run server which will actually start the development server this development server is not fit for production i'm just adding this here because you might think that if you're going to some production server and you want to host your Django website, you cannot do this. At this point, I'm emphasizing on this so much because you might go to some sort of web server and fire this command in the background. This is not a good practice. This way you cannot leverage the advantage of scalability. With that said, what I'll do is I'll come to my Google Chrome and if you haven't already accessed this playlist, I want you guys to access this playlist and click here to bookmark, click here to save and also give me a like on this video so that I feel confident that you guys are actually liking the videos that I'm creating. What I'll do is I'll simply go to 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. As you guys can see, this website looks really cool at this point. We saw how to fill the contact form. We also saw how to customize things and add bootstrap widgets and all those things. I'll simply log into admin. I'm already logged in by the way. So you can come to contacts and you can also add manual contacts here. So if I say Harry manual, I can say Harry manual at gmail and then it, 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 something. Okay. Now I can say this is a manually added field. Okay and I'll click save to save. I can also edit a field. I can simply say editing this and I can save. So I hope you guys have already explored this, but again, I just want to show you somehow to, if you want to edit it, you can do that. Now this doesn't look good at all. Contact object five. This actually doesn't tell me anything about the object. How would it be if it shows me something like Harry at this point added this contact object? You guys know what I mean. So in order to display Harry or say Harry manual uh, in place of this contact object four or contact object five for that matter, I can come back to my model and inside this models.py and more specifically inside this contact class, I can add a dunder method called str. And all you have to do is simply add this method and you can say return self dot name self dot name will actually return the name of the contact object so if the name of this contact object is harry it will show harry so whatever you return here will be displayed here so if i reload this page it says that takes zero positional arguments but one was given there is some sort of issue with my um, str okay i need to give it self my bad you need to add self here and if you reload this, you can see that Harry manual name, Harry, whatever the name is, is being shown up in place of my contact object one, contact object two, and those kind of contact object three stuff. I don't want those kind of ugly stuffs. I want something meaningful here. And I'm getting that something meaningful at this point. You can also add email. You can concatenate two strings. You can simply say um, self plus self dot email if I do this and if I go to contacts you can say Harry manual and then the email ID so if you want to see something like this or I might also want to add a dash here whatever you return will be shown here so if this is something that tells you more about this object you can use this so you can use whatever you want let us say you have a lot of contact objects. A lot of people are contacting you on your developer portfolio. What is the most important information that you want to see? You can simply say that I want to see the name of that person and the email ID of that person. Maybe somebody from Google is contacting you. Maybe somebody from Facebook is contacting you. The email ID will contain facebook.com. So you can simply open your contact page where all the objects of contact class are being shown up and you can simply fire a control F and you can check if there anybody from Facebook contacted you. You can say Facebook and this is just an example. I just want to emphasize upon the fact that seeing contact object one two three four is not good compared to seeing this you can customize this as per your needs as i told you so this is one customization that you can do to django admin 
uh, interface and if I come to my home once again I can add as many models as I want by registering them using admin.site.register if I register this model I'll simply see this model here okay we'll see in our future videos some advanced customization of Django admin for now I just want to focus upon the basic customization another type of customization that I want to talk about is changing this Django administration and changing um, the heading which shows up when I log in so what I'll do is I'll come to my urls.py the projects url.py in my case this is portfolio so I'll double click this urls.py and what I'll do is I'll close all the other files because I don't want to open a lot of files here this is something that I recommend because once you start working with Django there are just a whole bunch of files which will get opened up you need to close all those files in order to have a very clean view of your project dashboard okay now what I'll do is I'll simply add some customizations here so I've already imported admin I'll say Django oops I'll say Django admin customization and to be more specific I'll say Django admin header customization and in order to do this header customization what I'll do is I'll add some text I'll say admin dot site dot header is equal to developer Harry okay I'll say admin dot site dot site underscore title is equal to I'll say welcome to Harry's dashboard and then once again I'll say admin dot site dot index underscore title I'll say welcome to this portal okay I'll show you where all these things are appearing what I'll do is I'll come to my admin and I'll reload it okay so once I reload this nothing happens I need to check why nothing happens uh, I think I need to restart my server once I restart my server and I reload this you can see that my title shows welcome to Harry's dashboard why don't this change I don't know let me check if I have done any mistake okay so this needs to be site underscore header and now you'll see developer Harry in place of this Django administration so if I reload um, you see developer Harry I might also say log into developer Harry okay and you can see welcome to Harry's dashboard in the title so whatever shows up here is the site title as you can see the site title is welcome to Harry's dashboard the header is something which shows up here and once I log in I'll show you admin admin once I log in you'll see that this uh, login to developer Harry this thing is being shown up here and you can see that welcome to this portal is being shown up here I think I have uh, misspelled welcome M E control S to save and if I reload this will change so it is very easy to change this login to developer Harry welcome to this portal and the title and the head heading text all those things it's super easy to change it you can customize it to your needs also you can change these model titles if you want you can add as many models as you want by clicking this add contact button and our website looks super cool you can open this view site in a new tab and my website really looks awesome to me right now now you can go to getbootstrap.com at any point and you can pick up some components of your choice and add it to your website the best part about Django and bootstrap is that you can customize it as per your needs you can simply copy paste stuff from getbootstrap.com and it's simply free of cost you don't have to pay anything plus it's simple copy paste and we all are PhDs in copy paste buttons and I'm just thinking of adding some good stuff here media object media object is this thing and you can copy this and you can add it below this me at a glance and what I'll do is I'll come to this home.html I'll zoom out and I'll add another container maybe I'll say dev.container and I'll say that I want to add this media object inside this container now if I come back to my website and I reload you can see that this media object has been added you can use some image from your uh, unsplash or from static folder we'll see how to load images and other media from static folder but for now I'll ignore this image you can simply add some image from unsplash and you can further customize your website okay 
so i hope this video was helpful to you i'll simply remove this uh, heading this media object and i just wanted to show you that you can add as many things as you want and i'll simply say footer and i'll say copyright all rights reserved okay and I'll say copyright 2022 all rights reserved I'll reload this and you'll see copyright 2022 all rights reserved I can add some sort of um, padding here I'll say py3 and also I'll say uh, p dot text center just to center the text and honestly speaking you need some sort of practice in order to get these things done as you can see i have very easily added this footer and i've centered it and you guys might be thinking how did i do this so fast and i get a lot of comments people asking me how am i so efficient and fast with this and honestly speaking it's all practice i have created a lot of websites i have spent a lot of time with python and django so it's really crystal clear for me and when i'm teaching you guys django i keep these things in my mind and i understand i take a moment and understand that you guys are beginners and i need to take everyone at an optimal pace so what i'll do is p class is equal to text center and i'll say background is uh, say dark and i'll say text text white i think it's not white it's light and you can refer to bootstrap's documentation for colors i don't discourage that so a very beautiful dashboard here a footer here you can right click inspect in order to see what's going on so i can see that there is some spacing here i'll just see what the spacing is so the footer by default has some sort of margin i don't need any margin so what i can do is i can remove the margin from footer so okay so i need to add this bg dark in text light to footer so that it is the footer which gets darker and gets the padding so if i reload this page i think this looks pretty good this looks okay -ish to me and you can reduce the padding if you want to you can simply say i don't need the padding you can simply say py1 or 2 or something whatever feels good to you but this is about the customizations now you can see that it's not vertically aligned so what I'll do is I'll align it to the middle by adding padding to paragraph. So if I add padding to paragraph, instead of adding this padding to footer, you can see that it creates some problem. I'll increase this. I'll say PY3. And you can have a lot of iterations of hit and trial and get this done. So I can see that I need to add margin bottom zero. So I'll say MY0. I don't need any margin for my paragraph. And I think this is done. We have a very beautiful vertically aligned footer. You can add as many things as you wish to to the footer. And you can also make some uh, beautiful footer using some social media icons. You can look into libraries or you can download the images from the internet and display them here. Spend some time and this will really look better if you spend more time. For now, I'm just having this footer which looks just basic, just okay. -ish. And also I can reduce this padding if you think this padding is too much. So all the customizations are in your hand. You can customize the website as you wish to. Simply copy this stuff from getbootstrap.com, whatever you want to copy and simply you can add all the things that you want and your website will look amazing for sure. So we have this projects page, we have this home page, we have this about page, we have this contact me. And if you see this website, from the point of view of your first website in Django, I think this is amazing. This is truly amazing. So tell me in the comment section below how you like this website. Do you think it is amazing? This is actually very beautiful website because if you are creating this website as your first website, just imagine after you create 10 to 20 websites, how your websites will look like. I mean, just think about it. So. At this point, you know what Django admin is, you know how to create models, you know how to save data to the database, you know how to use Unsplash API, you know a lot of stuff and you already know a lot of Django. At this point, I recommend you to go and try out some other projects, some other static websites. You can also freelance, you can also go to freelancing websites and pick up some projects, but make sure you can do them. So there are many people hosting a lot of ads on these social media websites and these freelancing websites they ask people to get their static sites done and you can actually sign up to those freelancing websites and start cheap and once you start cheap and 
create websites you will hit two birds with one stone firstly you will learn a lot of things secondly you will earn a lot of money but at this point don't run behind money you can simply brush up your skills by creating some sample projects and posting those projects to github but you know a lot of things at this point so if you haven't already accessed this playlist yet i want you guys to do that please access this playlist click here to bookmark click here to save this playlist should be all yours in the meantime you can drop me a comment and give me a like this really helps me a lot i want you guys to comment and give me a like give me a thumbs up that way i will know that you are liking the videos that i'm making thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time